Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a bit of Daisy. It's been some time since we played, but you know, it's going to be uh, good. It's going to be fun. And I've been listening to what you guys have been saying about a uh, bit too much Minecraft on the channel. So it's time for us to start playing something a little bit different. And what better than what I love playing, Daisy? So we're going to give this a go. And uh, we're going to start a new series, a brand new one, compared to the old one we did back on the Monster Tech channel. And basically, we're going to do like a survive series. So I'm going to last for as long as I can. And if I die, then we'll restart on a new series and uh, see how it goes from there. So we're on Lingor, and this is a specialized server. It's an F1 E7 server. And uh, they're pretty cool because you've got modified data, so you have separate weapons and bits. And you also have, uh, I think it's like 400 vehicle spawns as well, which is insane. Um, which is ace. So hopefully that's going to lead to some pretty interesting gameplay. And uh, we've already got a zombie up here who's uh, just took one. <laughs> now, I have a map, but I'm not 100% too sure where I actually am at the minute. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful. I've already heard a few like Chinooks and things flying around, so... Yeah, this could be very interesting indeed, and I'm hoping we're going to have some great gameplay out of it. So let's uh, crack on, and uh, there you go. You can hear the Chinook already. Is that a Chinook or a uh, regular copter? Nope, that's a Chinook, but i got a zombie on me, so let's uh, get moving. Is that a Chinook? Nah, it's just a regular Huey. Um, I have no idea where I actually am at the minute, so this could be very fun. Evidently, that chopper's just seen me, <laughs> so uh, we need to be a little bit careful. Yeah, he's moving away. That's good. Let's take these until we get another weapon. At least we can do with the darts. These will be fine. Some voltage. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll take the slugs and put them in the bag. Cool. Cool beans. So, yeah, there's like 400 uh, vehicle spawns on this. So, hopefully, it's going to lead to some really interesting gameplay. We're going to hopefully find a uh, vehicle soon and then we can start making our way inland to somewhere a little bit decent. These zombies weren't here. They've literally only just spawned in. So. I can still hear that Huey. Yeah, the zombies have literally only just spawned in, so it means that hopefully the um, there's no one around here at the minute, because I don't really need the uh, hassle of anyone around here just yet, seeing as I only have a, a compact crossbow. We're not going to actually do anything very decent. We need a gun. First thing, gun. Then figure out where I actually am, and then we can uh, start moving. Like I said, I have a map, so I can place down some pointers and uh, get somewhere decent, but at the minute... Uh, is that a ghillie? Is that a ghillie already? Oh, camo clothing. Insane. Let's take that. Okay, right, where camo clothing? Pow, how do I look? Nice! Very nice. And uh, can we drop our civilians? Yeah, we should be able to drop our civilians. Pow. Cool, cool beans. Let's go check what we've got upstairs. Hopefully there's a gun or something. Aha! One gun to start the day off. And uh, this uh, lonely traveler's gonna probably come in. No, he's not. Be good. All right, let's take the, take the macro off. Oh, I do love a good Makarov in the morning, you know, there's nothing better than uh, having one solitary Makarov, it probably is the most crappiest gun in the game, um, even the crossbow I prefer over the Makarov, like, the crossbow I think does more damage, uh, there's a nice bit of, ooh, ooh, very nice, bit of loot, good times, let's take all this, <clears throat> grab some food, we've already got a little bit on us, but yeah, you can never have too much, we'll pop it in the bag for later. Thank you very much, Lee, and uh, there's some more Makarov mags here, which is nice, so let's grab those. And band-aids. Very nice. Okay, cool. Right. Oh, there's some more here as well. We're going to take as many bandages as we can. And uh, if we get more mags, then we'll drop bandages. It's the way I normally roll. <clears throat> that way, you know, we haven't got really a problem. Is there a zombie coming up the stairs? Yes, there is. In the face. Yeah, I like to keep as many um, band-aids on me as I can, and then uh, if we find more ammo, then I'll drop band-aids. It's just uh, I find it a lot easier that way, and that way I haven't got to worry about it. And I'm not too sure whether the zombies have decent spawn on this. They could do. Um, nah. Nah, they don't, but we'll get the crossbow out anyway. Like I said, I quite like using a crossbow. Let's check upstairs, see what we've got up here. Once we've done this, we'll look through the rest of the town, see if there's any... Uh, extra bits and then hopefully we can move on find a uh, some sort of sign kind of telling us where we actually are and then we can figure out where we're going to go from there i don't really want to go to a main city just yet because i'm a little bit under geared there's not really much i could do um i'm quite happy that there isn't really many zombies around though so they're all mine i um, this is like a quite high populated server i think there's something like 40 people at the minute 40 or 45 i think it's a 50 slot so i was a bit worried that when i spawn in the chances of me spawning next to someone is fairly high but Lingor is quite a big map so there's not really a problem there with that. Let's get out here and uh, find some more gear. Let's 
What we got? Ah, uh -uh, hatchet. Shall we take a hatchet? Jerry cans. Ooh, we'll go. Uh, yeah, we'll take the uh, we'll take the steel bolt until I find something else. Uh, empty water can fail. All right, we'll leave that. I'm not going to pick up any other bits and bobs at the minute. There's not really any point until we're fully stocked. Then there's not really much we can do, to be honest. <clears throat> Let's check these houses out. See what we can find. I remember playing Lingo before, and last time I played Lingo, finding weapons was fairly easy. There wasn't really much of a problem with it. Uh, I don't like the idea that this zombie's dead here, though. I'm pretty sure I haven't come through here. Okay. I'm going to get my macro out just in case. Go for a macro of kill, yeah. With style. <laughs> you know, macro of kills are insane. Ah, bit of juice. Let's take the, uh, take the soda. And the M19 mag I'm going to pop in here in case we find a better gun. Hopefully we'll find a decent bag soon as well and then we won't have to worry about anything else. I think he's coming in here, this weary traveller. Okay, right, let's carry on. So, you guys, uh, thanks for uh, participating in the uh, live stream as well. I don't know if I've already said that. Um, but thank you for joining. We're going to be doing some DayZ live streaming soon. And if you haven't watched the Wastelands... Oh, I can hear some firing. Don't really like this. We're a bit underprepared for anything at the minute. Any engagements aren't going to go down very well. The chances are it's going to be me that dies. So let's uh, try and just get away from here. Get somewhere a little bit safer. And then we can think about um, actually going for kills. Yeah, that's coming right from over there. Have I got a compass on me? Yeah, I have. That's coming from the uh, northeast. Okay, right. What else have we got? That's nothing really good in here. The only problem with the Lingle map is you get a lot of people that hang around on the higher spots and just snipe. Oh, shit, yeah. We just found a Huey. Okay, right, this makes me a little bit wary. Has someone dropped it here or is it literally just spawned? The chances are this is a fresh spawn, so that's pretty damn sweet. Hopefully it's uh, in working condition as well. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, all the loot here is fresh. And uh, there's a Huey patch just there as well. Helicopter patch. Nice. I got a horrible feeling, though, that people may be watch might be actually watching that helicopter. Uh, we've got quite a few Zeds around here as well. Let's uh, take care of this lonely traveller down here. And uh, we've got another one coming around the corner. How did that not kill him? Oh, god damn it. That fucking helicopter's coming back as well. Let's just hang around in here until the helicopter disappears. <clears throat> hey, you're not meant to be running inside here. Oh, fuck, I can hear the firing. Oh, there we go. Where are you? Hell knows what he's doing, but he's going somewhere. Ducking and diving. Ducking and diving in a heli. Like a pro. Right, let's get inside this. Check what gear we've got first. It looks a little bit shot up. Uh, we'll get in the gunner seat, just in case we get in a bit of shit. Um, oh, I think it's pretty fucked, to be honest. There's no, uh, there's no uh, fuel or anything inside it. Let's see if there's any gear in here, though. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Uh, what do we want? Units. Soda can, take a soda can, and that's it. Okay, right, so this is pretty much pointless. I'm not going to hang around here, and I'm not going to try and fix this one up. There's, there's no point with these guys. Oh, nice, nice. You're very smart. Did he even mean to do that? <laughs> I think he might have just got shot out of the sky. What a legend. Only pros get shot out of the sky. 
Now, we need to figure out where we actually are first before we go anywhere else, and then we can uh, kind of move out of the area. This is going to be the only server that I'm actually going to be playing on as well, so if any of you guys fancy joining in, then feel free. I'm not going to be streaming this uh, this server, but I will be streaming my own server at some point. So, you know, I'll leave the description for my server in the uh, in the description section, and I'll put the link for this server in there as well with the IP for it, so that way you can kind of, kind of join in if you fancy it. Obviously, if you're using Commander or uh, Play With Six, then you can quite easily just like load up the lingo, type in the uh, players, and just put in uh, Lewis, and the chances are I'll probably pop up. <clears throat> okay, right, so we've got no players around here. There's no Zombobs, which is nice. So let's just quickly check along here. Once you've done this, I want to move... I want to move up inland once you've done here. I'm not going to be noob shot. Yeah, they're literally just fresh spawn, so that's nice. Come on, give me a gun. Give me a gun. Give me the money. Nope, nothing. But I'm going to uh, be a uh, cheeky fucker and nick the drink, even though I don't need it. And have a little bite to eat first. There we go. Right, let's have a look in here, see what we can find in here. And then we're going to start moving out. Make our way inland. Is this the one I originally came in? I think this might be the uh, one we already came in. We'll find out when we go upstairs. Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, so we've been around here, so let's uh, carry on. Going in this general direction. Oh, fuck you. So the airstrip's like the main place that we want to go to. And, you know, I um, will go there eventually because we can get some good gear there. But the best thing about Lingor is there's really, there's loads and loads of additional um, military areas that you can pick gear up. So we'll go there once we've got a few more bits and bobs. And I, has any loot even spawned in here yet? I think I might have just come in a little bit too quick. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Either that or someone's already took this place. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna make ourselves, we're gonna make our way to some of the additional areas and try and pick up some gear there. Hopefully, we can find like an M4 or something, and that way we can move more inland and make our way to the cities. I'm not gonna play stupid and run around like an idiot and just try and pick up whatever the hell I can. You know, we're gonna uh, play a little bit tactically on this because I want to last for as long as I can. Where the hell are those guys going? They're like water, water, water. Oh no, that now they no, it's me. Right, let's check these buildings and see what else we can find. That would have been really nice if that Huey was up and running because we could have actually quite easily figured out where we were. Um, and some of the Hueys actually kind of give you a good indication, which is nice. But unfortunately, the luck isn't there today. I'm... Ooh, binoculars. Do we swarm with binoculars? I'm not sure. No, we don't, but they're going to come really in handy. So let's take the binoculars. Pow. Uh, okay. So most of these buildings are a bit shit for spawn, there never seems to be anything in these ones. I'm just going to leave this one. I don't see there any point in actually searching for anything. Ooh. More macro rounds. And some CZ rounds, nice. Alright, let's drop one of these and uh, take a macro off. And have we got anything else? What have we got here? We got some 45s, bandages, chem lights, 19s, another macro of mag. Uh, we've, we've, oh, we've got a lot of macro of mags. I could, I'll pop it in my bag for the time being, you know, and uh, we'll take it if we need it. And uh, yeah, there we go, that's fine. Let's have a look out here quickly, see what else we can find. Some tin cans, rubbish, and up here, Crowbars, bit of food, nice, we'll take the food. Is that a uh, enough mackerel? Uh, yeah, all right, let's take the food. Put this in the bag. 
Right, so we're pretty stocked on food and drink, so we haven't really got anything to worry about there. At least it means we can travel quite a distance and not have to uh, get in any hassle because we won't have to go into any towns or anything, so. Oh, I can hear firing. Where's that coming from? Sounds like it's coming from the north. Hmm. That was quite a while away, though. I don't think it was. Up there. I don't think it was anywhere near us. So I don't think we've got anything to worry about. If we can't start hearing the firing in a bit closer, then there might be a chance that we might just have to run. <laughs> I really am not going to try and take someone with a Makarov. You know, it's just stupid. The amount of times I tried and just got my ass kicked. Like you can empty a round into someone, and they it won't even they won't even flinch. For fuck's sake. So, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play that stupid card today. So we're gonna check this last house, and then I think we're gonna call it a day. We've got guns, we've got food and war and stuff, so we're good. We can start actually moving out from here. And uh, what have we got here? Uh, Makarov, Band-Aid. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's uh, take the last Makarov mag, and if we find anything else, we can drop it. Yeah, nothing really that decent, to be honest. <clears throat> oh, we've got some nice buildings that way, actually. Cool, right. Alright, well, we're going to leave this one here. And, uh, yeah, I will see you soon for another episode very soon. It'll be uh, episode 2 of uh, Series 1. So have a good one. Check out the other stuff. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.